The week began with a volcanic eruption in Indonesia, sparking massive evacuations. Two days later, more explosive news from the Asian country. Indonesia's parliament approved a criminal code making it illegal to have sex outside of marriage. Not just illegal, but punishable by up to one year in prison. After the long debate, we hope the people will understand that we have done everything to accommodate public aspiration as much as possible and debated all important issues where our opinions split. But in the end, we made a historical decision. The law, which has been in the works for years, also bans cohabitation between unmarried couples and will apply to foreigners visiting the country as well. It will also be illegal to insult the president and stage unnotified protests. The first time the government tried to pass this law, in 2019, there was massive public pushback. The new version is watered down, which means charges can only be brought by a spouse, parent or another family member. But for many Indonesians, even this is not enough. They passed a law that is not democratic, controls our private lives and does not take care of public matters. It is a setback for our country, which had fought for reform and now we're moving backwards. Francesca Tanmizi lives with her daughter and husband in Singapore. She says her friends and family back home in Indonesia are shocked and worried. She believes this law will make life more difficult for young women and minorities, especially in cases of assault and rape. Will this law make it more scary for sexual assault victims to come forward? Because now, I mean, as it is proving you've been sexually assaulted, it's already a very tra traumatizing, scary process. And now it's going to be in the back of your head. If I cannot prove it's non-consensual, will, will I be jailed for having sex outside marriage? That is another scary thing. So if you're a tourist going to Bali, Lombok, Gili, you know, that's something you have to keep in the back of your head. Rights organizations say that with this law, the world's third largest democracy has taken a step away from freedom and into dangerous oppressive territory, potentially feeding a culture of vigilantism and false accusations, as well as imprisonment.